Hey guys, have you ever thought about how weird we are as a species? Humans are really weird. We are the only ones that proclaim our love through marriage. No other species does this. We are the only ones that have a fully opposable hand. You could say that apes and gorillas have very similar hands, but they don't have hands that work in the same way. It's, they have the ability to do things using thumbs and fingers, but it's not as complex and intricate as what humans have. They can open bananas and they can like grab things, but they can't like operate a typewriter. I don't know why I said typewriter. They can't operate like a computer or a calculator. And yes, that's mainly due to the fact that they don't have the brain function and they haven't been taught to do it. But it's also due to the fact that they've they've learned to walk on their hands. We haven't learned to walk on our hands. We've learned to walk upright and we are the only species that also does this we're the only species that walk on two legs let me think about that for a second yes we are other than birds we're the only species that walk on two legs we have the ability to think about like things other than just survival we have the ability to think about worldwide issues we think about other species as animals and we think about ourselves as the primary species of the planet. We're the only ones that I have been able to find out that know that we're animals. We think ourselves as humans but we know that we're animals. You could say yes other animals know that they are a certain species like they don't call themselves gorillas or lions or anything but they know that they are a certain thing. They know what they are. Honestly I don't know where I'm really going with this. I'm just this is something I was thinking about and it's humans are very strange. Again, we are the only ones that marry for love. Like, no other species will marry unless it's designed by humans. Like, you don't see lions getting down on one knee and proposing. That's not something that happens. It's normally the alpha male has his pick of the female and they go and reproduce and that's, that's how it works. In our world, it's you get to know someone, you spend a couple of years with them. If you really do want to spend the rest of your life with them, you get down on one knee and propose. That's how we've been brought up to do things. If we've been brought up to just say, all right, the, the strongest guy out of everyone gets the girl that he wants, it would be a very different society. Most people will say we have very similar genetic layout to that of a gorilla or an ape, and obviously that is true. Uh, I think they are the closest species we have. And also we have very similar genetic layout to that of a banana, but that's beside the point. Um, there are obviously very clear differences between gorillas and humans. Humans aren't covered in hair, even though we have the same amount of hair follicles to cover our bodies. We're not covered in hair. We have the ability to learn, like apes do, but we, we go to school, we learn. We learn to say words, we learn to do certain things. And apes can do this. Probably, I don't know, I'm not a scientist, I don't study with apes. I'm pretty sure if we taught them to do stuff, they will be able to do it. Like any other animal, if you teach it enough, it will do something. The fact that they haven't been brought up knowing this, like if we started with a young gorilla and started teaching it things, it might learn stuff, but then if we put it back into another environment, it would either be the odd one out or it would relapse back to its original sort of gorilla mindset. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this, honestly. I'm just saying things that pop into my head and honestly at the minute I'm just picturing Tarzan. I don't know why. I'm just I'm just thinking of the Tarzan storyline of a guy growing up with apes. When I was researching this topic, I mean, fair enough, I didn't research it a lot. I came across this website. It gave a list of things that only humans do um, and it's like consciousness, uh, like the idea of life after death, religion, Stuff like this, it's something that we've created, we've imagined and we've got people to go along with it. But then there are also a load of comments on said website saying humans are the only species that are aware of the fact that they are animals, but they also know that they're not just animals, they're something more than animals. And then there was a load of comments saying humans are the only ones that use the sentence, they know they're animals, but they know they're more animals. Humans are the only ones that use sentence Humans are the only use sentence, they know they're on, and so on. And this went on for a good like 50, of, like 50 people were just saying this over and over again. And that got me thinking, humans are also very different. Like, you have a lot of funny people, you have a lot of aggressive people, you have a lot of very quiet people, timid, like they're, they're scared to do things. 
people who are looking for adventure. Obviously you have that in different species, you have the, the brave ones, the hunters, you have the, the ones who go and gather supplies like berries or, or leaves or like twigs for a nest or something. And you have like the mothers who care for the children. You have very primal instincts, but you don't see gorillas doing stand-up comedy, you don't see a lion going and using a computer, you don't see a bird getting on a plane and flying across the Atlantic Ocean. It's things where we know we're doing something, like getting on a plane. For the first time, if you're not a child, like say if you were 23 and you're getting on a plane for the first time, it's going to be terrifying because this is something where it's, you've not done it before. It's a very strange sensation. You're in a metal, a metal thing flying through the air with just like air turbines keeping you up. It's just, it's technology is keeping you in the air and that's quite scary to think about. But you don't see a bird thinking about that. They fly because they know they have the ability to. And if they uh, saw I don't know if they saw one of their, their bird friends fly into a tree, that wouldn't stop them flying around. It's, it's just our, our thought process is what holds a lot of us back. I, don't, I really don't know where I'm going with this video, okay? I'm just saying stuff and hoping that it makes sense. Please just go along with it, please. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is humans are a very unique species. We're the only ones that have been able to master technology. Yes, you could say that gorillas can use a typewriter if you taught them how to. Yes, okay, yeah, that's that's a given. You can probably teach that to a rabbit as well if you really wanted. If you had the time and energy to do it, you could probably teach a rabbit to use uh, an iPhone. I don't know. But the fact that my generation has been brought up in technology, like everything you see nowadays will be technology. Phones, computers, TVs, like music, it's all portable now. Whereas, uh, like back uh, 50 years ago, a computer would have been the size of uh, like a room, it would have been massive. Whereas nowadays, you can hold a laptop in just one hand and it can fit in a bag. Like, the fact that humans have been able to master technology is insane. Like, phones used to be the size of, I don't know, like, like, like they used to be huge, and now you can fit them in the palm of your hand again. Like, we've been able to use what we know and evolve. Granted, we don't have wings, like, we don't evolve, like, physically, but we evolve mentally. We evolve as a species together, and that is what makes us unique. Okay, I don't know, but I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully that made a bit of sense, I don't know, um, it might have been just me making sense in my head, I actually know said half of what I meant to say, and it doesn't make any sense, but oh well, it's a video, you can enjoy it, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, please comment, subscribe, like this video, I'll see you whenever, thank you so much, and goodbye.